on this season of Power Slap, Road to the Title. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. The power is on. Oh my. These guys are just full of testosterone. They're just full of mayhem. You're disrespectful, little bro. Go for it. Fuck like that, cuz you're gonna bang. Oh, about to get wild. <laughs> the beautiful thing about this thing is you get to slap out all people you don't like. Whoa! I'm trucking through. I'm getting that belt. Go! It's my time. Oh, I'm looking to take your head off. Oh, yeah! You have to be physically, mentally, and emotionally tough to get through this experience. And it's going to be interesting to see which guys are willing to lay it all the line. How bad do they want to be here? This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Second clock, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Then what's gonna be your call? Three. Right three? Right three. Stand by. Start blue clock. Blue, right, three. First one measure. I'll call it. Now go. That's your measure. That's one. One. Two. Done. Doc. That's the you get! What? Lay his head down. That's the you get! That's what I'm about! Stay here. Yep. Muscle don't wait. Take some deep breaths, you're doing fine. So, we're gonna go ahead and roll you just to sit on your butt right now. Yeah. Dr. D is next to you. I got the doctor next to you. You got knocked out, okay? You knocked out doing what? Is that fighting? You're, sl you're in the slap of it. Same Ladies thing. and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith calls a stop to the match at round number one. Declaring the winner by knockout, Christopher Thomas! K.O. Swift, baby! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got some character to him. Oh, he's out right there. Man. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. <laughs> He's got unbelievable power. He's got great energy. I love everything about that kid. I, mm -hmm. I think that kid should go into the house. What do you two think? Yeah, Just yeah. Sure. 100%. 100%. He's There's in. no question. For sure. All right. Yeah. Looks like Chris is going in the house. Chris is going. So a few years ago, I started watching some videos on social media and online of guys slapping out of Poland and Russia. And I was into it immediately. I started looking at these numbers and they were pulling like 350 million views. I, I took a deeper dive, got into it, and we knew the first thing we needed to do was get sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Uh, you know, turn this thing into a real sport. So back in March, we held an exhibition and we found a lot of talent from there. So much like the UFC, what I'm looking for are the best slap fighters in the world to come in and join Power Slap and they'll be competing for a spot in the first pay-per-view, and they'll also be fighting to be ranked. And it's gonna start with four divisions, welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight. 
So now I'm gonna sit down with the coaches and the matchmakers and we're gonna go through film. And we're gonna look at, you know, guys that we like, guys that we think have the chance to be a world champion. And we're gonna decide who has to slap their way into the house and who just goes straight in. I'm Rob one I Wolf Perez. I ain't got nothing to prove. I'm just here to do what I do best. And that's put on a show for the people. I just honestly, I felt like I was made for this. I've, I've, I was made to fight. You know, I'm a big dude. And that's just how I feel like what I was meant to do is fight, be brolic, and, um, you know, have fun doing it. Let's go, baby! Let's go! I'm here for legacy. I want to prove that I'm the baddest man in the world. I want to be the one. I want to set the tone for everyone else in this sport and create this sport to what it should be. You're just going to see intensity. You're going to see a, the slap of the gods from the king of kings, baby. Cleveland, Ohio, we're going to raise up, and I'm bringing it home, baby. You're going to be striking first. We're going to get you this. You're going to hold this behind your back here. Uh, if you hear, tell me what hand and then on what strike you're going to strike. Three right. On three? On three, OK? Three right. One, two. That's it. That's all you got, baby? That's all you got? I hate that. Hong, 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 hong. You're watching me. Wow. Look at his chin, though, man. He just ate it. Take that. Take that. He's like, I'm going to you up. Exactly what he's thinking. Start time for striking. You're good here. Step forward for me one moment. Chin up. On what what hand and on what right, strike? Right on three. Right on three. Right on three. One, two. That's a tough guy, for sure. But Woo! That started. Good started. chin, but it startled him. It would be awesome to have both these guys. Yeah, feet touching the box at least, and shoulder wing. Round what, two. What hand? Three on your right hand. Three on right hand for red. One. Two. Oh! Yeah! I eat that baby. I eat that baby. I eat that baby. I eat, I eat that, baby! I eat that, baby! I eat that, baby! My grandma slapped harder than that, and she ain't even alive! I mean, One-eyed woman to better get yourself a check, bro. Stop time for recovery. Start. No, I don't need no that. time for recovery. F that. Let's go! Let's go! Stay right here. Come on! Because right on three, right on three. Stand by, stand by. You're good here. Right, right on three. Keep your feet in the box or touching the box there, shoulder width. Right on three. You stay here. Keep your feet flat. One, two. Yeah, that's what I do. I made him fall back, baby. 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds. 20 seconds left here. 20 seconds. When you're ready, step back in the box. You're good there? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Stop, Stop recovery time. You got yeah. 30 seconds there. Yeah. Round three. I think if the one-eyed wolf was in the house, there'd be a lot of fights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there would definitely, definitely be a lot of fights. Keep your feet inside the box, or at least touching the box. Step closer a little bit for me. Let's go. Hit harder. Uh, which, arm, which hand? And on what? Three. Now I'm right. Three. Red will go right three. Right three. One. Two. I like that. I like that. Once again, what I do, tell me what I did. I ain't that right. I ain't that right. I like how he gets the crowd into yeah. it. Just talk. See, in our business, this is a home run when you have guys that are actually really good yep. and have great personalities. <laughs> Come on, one-eyed woman. You good there? Yeah, good. OK. Hands here, closer for me here. Chin, stand by, stand by. Feet inside the box or touching the box. Good, keep them flat for me. Go ahead and call off your strike, and then on what, what uh, uh, strike? Right on three. Right three. One, two. Good one. Fair below. 
Solid chin. I just think this is a guy that has so much potential that if you guys can really teach him some technique, yes. his chin is so good, his mm. personality is so good. A I think mean, he, he's a guy that can be special. That dude just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the match 29-26, 29-27, and 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Rob, one eyed fool. Is what it is. I'll come back, you know, better than ever. One eyed wolf, he's a man, brother. He's uh, a good dude. I like him a lot. You can't, you can't with me. One eyed wolf. Um, commission won't license Commission him. won't license him due to the vision issue. Uh, they, they, wouldn't. they told him no. I guess the flip side is if you only got one eye, why <laughs> around? My common sense kicked in for a minute <laughs> yeah. there, and I started thinking, this one's kind of a bummer for us because we like Ryan Phillips, and we, we, we love the one-eyed wolf. And this was an absolute war. Both these guys are energetic and exciting, have tons of personality, but the, the one-eyed wolf could not get medically cleared. So Ryan Phillips is going straight into the house. I would love for you guys to take a look at all these films, break these guys down, see what their weaknesses are, see what their strengths are, and these are all things that you guys can work, work on with them while they're, while they're here in Vegas. Yeah. So for the coaches, we brought in the two best guys in the world. Two, three, oh! Darius the Destroyer is a heavyweight champion from Missouri, and this dude has never lost a fight, and he's only 22 years old. He's an absolute beast. Another giant shot by Darius. He has one of the toughest chins on the planet, but he's got unbelievable, brutal knockout power. No! Oh! Rocky Moore is unconscious. Darius the Destroyer with a big knockout. So the Wolverine's name is Ron, and he's a former MMA fighter turned slap fighter. Another big shot from Wolverine. Oh, my. This guy's got incredible power and toughness. No! Oh! He's only 31 years old, and he's got a record of 11 and 3, and his only losses have been to the Destroyer. Oh. Their most recent fight was an epic 27-rounder that was eventually called in favor of Darius, and it's considered by most people the greatest slap fight ever in history. Darius the Destroyer, the champion. So they're going to train these young up-and-coming fighters, and then Darius and Ron are gonna fight live on pay-per-view for the first ever heavyweight slap championship. Well, the other thing too about this is just like the ultimate fighter, mm -hmm. these guys will leave this house 10 times better than when they yes. walked in. Yes. It's, it's, this is gonna be a life-changing experience mm -hmm. for them in, in, in a lot of different ways. My mindset is to train people to do it the right way, to make sure it's done in the safe way and hopefully bring a lot of recognition to the sport that we're all trying to grow. No, I'm gonna drag them through the mud a little bit, you know, show them what's up, and through that hard work and through the determination it's gonna take to get through that, they're gonna understand that this means everything to me. People don't understand, like, I'll die by a slap if I really have to. It's not gonna happen. My chin's gonna hold up. My chin don't crack, but people can keep coming trying. I haven't been slapped in a long time. Honestly, I, don't, I can't think of the last time I've been slapped, but I know I can take a hit well, so, man, whoever goes against me and get hit with this, it's gonna be bad news for him. <laughs> for real, like, I don't know, I'm not a heavy guy, but I got a heavy hand, you know? My nickname is Slap Jesus. I'm here to, you know, slap some sense into some people. I'm gonna talk so if you don't like it, break my jaw. Make me shut up, sleep me. But uh, I'm gonna say that so I don't get your little feelings hurt. My Jesus freaks out. Th this guy looks certified out of his mind. Looks out of his element. He goes by Slap Jesus. That's a great moniker. Time. You have 30 seconds. Go ahead and tell us your. It was on my Jesus Freaks at. Woo!
Woo! Gonna need the hand of God for this one, Judas. You're gonna go and call your strike. Right one hand. time. On one, your yes, right sir. hand. Into the box and line up for me here. Wait, wait, not yet. Come closer, right here, chin over. You have five seconds. You have 30 seconds to recover. Oh. oh. So he called a one there, so just yeah. no, line, no line up and just land. That didn't seem real effective for him. <laughs> give me your best, I'm gonna give you better, baby. Oh! This Hurry up, dog. We're running out of time. Stop time there. You have 30 seconds now to get ready to strike him. Go ahead and tell me your shot. Right three. Right three from blue, right three. One for the money, two for the show. Get it, buddy. I'm all right, though. So. I'm here. Ooh, stumbled him. Yeah, Needs more of a all kind of elbows. He kind of does that kind of thing. That's my friend, man. Wait, wait, wait. Looks fair blow. Fair blow. Slap Jesus don't like getting hit too much. It doesn't seem like. That was good. Round two. Are you good here? Yeah. OK. Stop time on red. Start time to prepare to strike. This is my brother, man. Go ahead and tell me your shot. Uh, one. On me, hand of God. Ah! That means uh, ah! right hand on one. Ah! Sir, you got 10 seconds. <laughs> All right. Yeah, All right. He, he definitely got personality. Where my Jesus freaks at? Go ahead and get yourself lined up. I'm ready. Let's go. Ready? Right on one. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm right here. Keep him here. Don't make me do that, Dana. Tell me if you're ready to continue. Come back here for me. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Right here. Good. Are you ready to continue? Stop there. OK, time. Time. Stop time. We're going to have the doctor. Hold still. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold still. Open your mouth a little bit. It's a split his lip. Yes, his lip. It's his lip. He split his lip. Yeah, we're going to stop. What do you think? We're going to stop that? Yeah, it's a million more. I'm going to stop this bout. The fighter has a laceration in his lip, and he cannot continue due to a doctor recommendation. I'd like to see both of them guys at least go at it again with somebody. Yeah, I mean, yeah I would, too. I think both of them are doing great yeah. up yeah. to that point. They're both good. I like both, both of those guys. I think we invite them both back. Declaring the winner by TKO, Michael Smith. It was epic, man. Uh, I can understand them stopping it because it was pretty deep. But I would have loved to. I would have loved to give one more, one more. I, I could have given one more with the cut. Uh, if I would have got a second slap on him, I probably would have took him down. Mike Smith, bitch. I ain't, we ain't losing. Uh, it just feels good to, you know, get my flowers. Let's go. It's all love, though. Asbury versus Slap Jesus it was a great fight. We really like both guys. If that cut doesn't happen. Who knows how that fight goes. In order for Power Slap to be an officially sanctioned sport, we had to set up health and safety guidelines similar to what we did in the UFC. And we have doctors on hand at every fight to evaluate fighters and protect them for their overall safety. This is the real deal, and we take it very seriously. We do not mess around when it comes to fighter safety. So we, we want to give these guys another opportunity, so they're going to have to slap their way into the house. My name is Dwayne Crespo. My nickname is the Iron Giant. I'm a professional MMA fighter. This is new. Well, this is basically the first of its kind. We're the pioneers of the sport, and I'm excited to showcase my power and, honestly, my chin. I came to Vegas to do work and slap the out of people. My name is Matthew Stretch Strickland, and I'm from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. I just love to fight. I love to compete. I love to challenge myself and get slapped out of me, I guess. You have 30 seconds to deliver your strike. Let me know with which hand and on what 
Uh, right count. on three, right on three. On three, so on three you will do the strike. Right, three. Feet flat. It's over. It's over. Do not get up. It's over. Hold on a minute. I can hit a lot harder. So you got 20 seconds. Harder. You got 20 seconds to recover. In the box, I'm ready. I can hit a lot harder. Thank you. Back. Good man. You're not recovered in time. Oh my God. Sorry, man. Getting an applause for standing up. That looked clean, too. I didn't see yeah, any. No yeah, no foot. Yeah, see that, that looked either. clean. Dwayne was in the military at one point. Went to gym out in New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match at round number one, declaring the winner by knockout Dwayne Iron Tiger. We both knew whoever goes first is going to win. As simple as that. And my next opponent, I guarantee you, whoever you are, you're, you're, you're going to go down just like, just like I went down. It's happening. It's happening. I knew it was going to be a knockout from the start. I could have hit a lot harder, but it didn't even matter. He did not get back up, so it's a great feeling. So Crespo came in and looked good. His knockout was impressive. That guy is just too good to not get an automatic spot in the house. We don't get tired, we get fired up. Whoa. Get fired what you gonna see from me is straight, vicious power. Ah. Let's go, baby, let's go. I hit really hard in competition, uh, in boxing, and so super interested to see how a human will survive that. Let's go. I've got five kids. Uh, I work two full-time jobs. I'm ready to show my kids, you know, you just push forward and you can, you can achieve anything. Hopefully the person I go against is ready because I'm, I'm ready to slap. I'm ready to get slapped. I hope he goes first because he only gonna get one from me. If you stay here, try to keep your feet in the box and come a little bit out of and keep your feet on the ground if you want. Tell me what hand you're gonna use and right. on what strike. Now, does Jules Scott have any like MMA background or Jules, anything like that? Jules, Jules done boxing and MMA boxing before. And MMA. Yeah. Gotcha. Right two. Red is going to do right two, right two. Keep your feet planted. Sir, who's calling me? Fair blow. You have 30 seconds to recover. Judge wants you to slide over a little bit. I'm working. Yeah. You're good? Yep. You're good here? Yep. OK. Time in. You have uh, 30 seconds to get yourself ready to strike. Good slap, but Jules took that one. That was good. That was good. It's quick. You're lined up right here. You're good there. Perfect. Same for you here. Keep your feet flat. What hand would you like and on what strike? Right, and we're gonna go on three. Right three, you have 15 seconds. One. Two. Three. Give me a minute. Perfect, guys. Work. Nice work, guys. How are we doing here? You got time. You got 18 seconds to recover and then come back to the box, okay? You have 10 seconds. You can take your hands out of there. You You're a tall here? guy. You good? Long wins. Stop Not time. Not very thick, though. Start time. Thick hands. For him to get ready. Start time again on red. Good there. Round two. Okay, there. 
Keep your feet flat. What right strike? two. Right two. You have 20 seconds. One, two. Oh. You have 30 seconds to recover. 30 seconds to recover. You good now? Stop time, start time for his strike. The one thing that we know about Jewel Scott, first of all, he's got a chin. Yes, he's, he's got, got a chin. Very good here, right here. Please keep your feet flat. Let me know on what strike you We're would like to go three. You're gonna go three? Yep. Right three, right three. You have 15 seconds. One, two, three. You got time, you got time. You got time here, sir? You got time? 20 seconds. We're right here. 20 seconds, maybe we take a knee. We got 20 seconds here. 20 seconds. Time to recover. When you are ready, come back into the... You're good. Team. You're good, that's it? Fight's over? Yep. All right. Good man, huh? Vicious. Yeah. <laughs> Vicious. <laughs> He's a no-brainer for me, man. He looks oh, yeah. totally comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match at round number two, declaring the winner by knockout Jewel Kid Titan Scott. Oh! I was able to gather all of my power. It's all one fluent. I've been a professional 14 years. All the blood, sweat, tears, snot, crying and we're finally here. Different platform than I ever imagined, but I feel like this fits me so well. Yeah, Coaches, TKO. Jules Scott in the house? 100% oh, in the house. Yeah. Boys, yeah. Jules Scott in the house? Yeah. What do you think about Anthony, though? I think he showed some, some toughness here. He showed some real heart. Oh, yeah. Real heart. I think maybe we bring him back and another chance. It wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt at all. Anthony Green did get knocked out in the second round, but we like him. We think he's got, you know, he's got something. We're gonna give this kid another chance. He's gonna have to slap his way into the house, though. We also had a few female fights at the exhibition we held back in March, so I decided to watch one of them with the coaches so they could see what kind of slap talent was out there on the women's side. I just turned 40 last year, and I feel like I'm in the prime of my life. And you gotta try everything once. So I'm bringing some big old pipes. You know, I've been working on these guns for a long time. So I'm honored to be able to be a part of this new endeavor. This contest is going to be a bit challenging for me. All in my life, I used to training with guys wrestling, I have a judo background, because I have so much respect for women. We might get this opportunity only once, so I don't think I'm going to hold back. Okay. She is going to be the first slapper here, okay? Uh, <laughs> on what strike would you like to... Left, oh, two. Left, left two, round one. Fair. You have uh, 30 seconds. Got some power to him. Really good. good shin, though. Yeah. yeah. You're good? Good? Two. Two? The and uh, one. with your right hand? What? Okay, and your feet square here, please. Two, right hand. Fight's over. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Yeah. Oh, baby girl. That was good. 
Fight's over. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I gave her a good solid crack, and I could see she was mad as. Like, I could tell it stunted her. And I was like, uh oh, here it comes. I believe that this was the biggest opportunity in my life I ever get, so I didn't want to take a, even a little mistake. I was bring everything, all my experience in the last um, 20 years I ever had. I think I did a somersault or something. My hair's still standing though, so that's good. Sheena Hungarian Hurricane Bathory. Sheena Bathory is an absolute beast. That knockout is one of the craziest knockouts I've ever seen. We aren't having female fighters in this first power slap competition, but Darius was so impressed by Sheena that he's gonna have her come on board as his assistant coach for the season. And I love that idea. I think there's nothing more humiliating than a nice open hand slap, and uh, I just can't wait to slap someone here. I'm just, you know, here trying to make my legacy, trying to get my son and uh, my kids a better life. I do handyman business. I'm an electrician apprentice back in Oklahoma, and in Idaho, I was a mason. I've been trying to get my name out there, and one way or another, I'm going to be famous. Well, I'm going to knock this dude. Out. I mean, he's flying. I mean, we got padding for a reason, my dude. He's going to be going to sleep on it. It's crazy when you see how different people are taking slaps, how some yeah. people look totally comfortable and some people look just scared. Some people don't have the experience of getting hit at all. Yeah. It's not for everybody. Well, that's say, hey, this is how you find out, right? Yeah. Red clock, start, please. Round we have 30 one. 30 seconds to get ready. Hand and number, please. Right, two. Red says right to. One. Fair slap. OK, you have 30 seconds. Yeah, I like these two. Yeah. The thing about him is you can see that he's got speed. Like, he's got yeah. hand speed, you know? Yeah, I'd like to see a bigger, better wind up and more body movement into it. But for, you know, just starting out, he's got some quickness to him. Remember No Country for Old Men? <laughs> yeah. The guy on the right hand side reminds me <laughs> of the <laughs> killer in that movie. 100%. <laughs> yeah. You're good to go. Okay, so start the blue clock. 30 seconds. I'm gonna go right hand three. Right hand, three, blue. One, two. Red, start the clock, please. You have 30 seconds. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you see his cheeks starting to swell up. He's got power, man. Yeah, and he didn't come, he didn't bring his hand too far back and didn't generate a whole lot of power. So that was just strictly just hand speed coming off and, you know, basically inches away. Red. Right, two. One. <laughs> Look at his cheek. Dang. That's crazy like how quick that's there. full. Yeah, I'd like to see that guy come back and see what happens in a slap off. Yeah, because uh, he has crazy power. Crazy power. power. Yeah, so I think we definitely bring John back for a slap off. Yes. On Wes, I mean, the kid's impressive. Well, listen, you know he can take a shot. You know his chin's solid if his face yeah. was swelling up like that after yeah. one slap. Dying. I think we put Wes in the house. Yeah, immediately. Immediately to the house. Yeah. Wesley versus John. 
Wesley is so tough, man. This guy had a hematoma on his cheek, bit down, fought through it. This dude's awesome, and we're very excited to have him here. He moves right into the house. The winner, Wesley Train. I thought I might have had, you know, a little bit more time to recover, but they said I didn't, so. You know, it is what it is, you know, it's part of the, it's part of the fight game, you know, so. Excited to, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, gonna keep doing it. I've done so much in my life where I'm just driving for this dream. This is my dream, and I'm chasing it. This is what fits for me personally to go as far as I think I can go, and that's what I want to change the world. All right, boys, let's do it. Start the 30-second clock. He took it really well for only being 19. He's 19? Yeah. After watching some of the fights, I'm pretty excited about the talent that we have here so far. <laughs> Good power. But like with most combat sports, stop, stop, stop. It can be hit or miss. Foul. Blue. One point. Feet. There are a lot of rules in power slap these athletes need to follow, or they'll get called for a foul. One of the most common is stepping. The striker always has to have his feet parallel to his opponent, in the zone, and flat on the floor. If you lift your foot, you're going to get a point deduction. Foul. Club. Ear. Red. Another big one is clubbing. A legal slap is an open-handed shot to the cheek. You can't lead with the palm of your hand, or the ref is going to call a foul. You can tell that some of these guys are still having a hard time competing under these rules. We kept watching fights and definitely saw some young guys that have potential. He doesn't look like he really even knows how to slap yet, but he looks like he has potential, and he can certainly take a slap. 100%. But you can definitely see that some of these guys do not have what it takes. That didn't seem real effective for him. These two are slapping the out of each other. We see the potential in AJ, so we're going to have AJ slap his way into the house. I like him. I think he's got potential. Yeah, he can definitely develop into one of those guys. Round one. Fair blow. Weak. In the Jawaski versus Davis fight, I got to say, the guy has an MMA background, but his slap was absolutely the weakest one that I have seen yet. Round two. Ooh. Oh, accurate, too. <laughs> that was good. Round three. It just goes to show that being a mixed martial artist doesn't necessarily translate into slap fighting. The sport takes force and velocity, and this guy just doesn't seem to have either one of them. Your winner by unanimous decision, the red corner, John the Machine. Davis. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I think by working with you guys, uh, he'll develop this slapping technique a little bit, but I think John goes straight into the house. Oh, yeah. I, I completely agree. I am Devin the Savage Swan, the original Savage. During the day, I'm a liquor distributor, family business, specialty beverages across the state of Kansas. I'm here to slap the out of somebody, just plain and simple. That's, that's the game, that's what I'm here to do. I did the Highland Games for years. A bunch of big guys come together and wear kilts, drink beer, and uh, have a great time. I have a lot of you know friends and family that are rooting for me, and they they want me to do well. Always had great support, so it's more of uh, showing them that they've uh, done good by me, you know, by helping me be here.
All right, gentlemen, we're going to strike first. You're going to grab the slapstick, put it behind your back. I'll give you a timer. You go powder your hand up. Devin has an MMA background, and he lost the coin toss. I've seen a lot of people come from different kind of backgrounds. I mean, I don't really have any background in combat sports at all. And Ron comes from MMA background. Move up right against the table. Round Stand one. Stand your feet parallel, chin ready. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Ready as ever be. Lose ready, start, red clock. Bernie, what's your call? Three. Right three? Right three. Right three, red. First one's a measure. Measure. One, two, That's it. Wow. Vern is probably one of the hardest hitting guys in the competition. I think the coin toss is actually really important. I mean, obviously you just seen one guy just got Obliterated. Yeah, wasn't able to get his turn just because of a simple coin toss. So, I mean, it's going to happen, but. But it has to have to do a lot with your chin, too. You either got yeah. the chin to take it or oh, you don't I, in this sport. I completely agree, yeah. There's two sides of the sport. There's mm -hmm. how good you could slap, but also your chin. Yeah. You good to stand up by yourself? Yeah. You know good. where we are? Yeah, we're, we're fighting at the UFC Apex. OK. All right, sounds good. We're going to stand right here, guys, and face that way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith calls a stop to the match at round number one, declaring the winner by knockout, Vernon Casey the second. I knew that whoever won the coin toss had a huge advantage, um, but I expected a war. My man won. I like him. It's all good. So whatever. This is day. I had to perform. That's why we're here. I plan on being on the top. I can go heavyweight or light heavyweight, wherever you guys want me to go. So Vern's going straight into the house. And Devin's going to have to fight his way into the house. You can't fault the guy. He's going up against one of the, one of the baddest dudes in the competition. So. He deserves another chance. That guy just looks like he's built different, man. Yeah, that he's guy, a beast. That guy's an animal. I am very excited. There were some great matches that we got to watch. There was some matches that need a little bit of work, but I mean, that's what we're here for, to help them. You know, some of these guys didn't really get tested in their first fight, but I think they're in for kind of a rude awakening. This is something that you're not going to be able to take your eyes off of. This is going to be the most exciting, the most interesting, and the most unique sport that you've ever seen in your life. And if you tune in, you're going to see just why you're going to love it. What we need over the next several weeks is your expertise in to turn these guys into killers. After watching the first set of fights from the exhibition event, I'm even more pumped about this sport than I was before. But with any combat sport, you always have a handful of holy moments. But guys, this is a whole nother level. So we invited a few guys so far to go straight into the Power Slap house. Not a bad start, and it's just the beginning. So what do you guys think about the, the, the crew that's heading in so far? I like it, man. I'd like to watch them all firsthand. Yeah, I think some of these guys are going to be in for a test for sure. I love it. Yeah, what happened since March, though, all these guys have gone back, started training more for this particular mm -hmm. sport. You know, what, what you see here is basically the first time they've ever they've Well, the ever other done thing, it. too, about this, these guys will leave this house 10 times better than when they yes. walked in. Yes. It's, it's, this is going to be a life-changing experience mm -hmm. for them in, in a lot of different ways. Hopefully, you guys took a lot of notes. You're looking at guys that you're interested in. And yeah, I think that's key to also, you know, keep it safe for everybody, you know? We don't want anyone, you know, having any incidents, make sure everyone's safe and doing this. Yep. So let me show you guys uh, the belt that you two will be fighting for, the first ever. Slap championship. Oh, that looks great. That's great. Sim boys. Oh, wow. Uh. That's awesome. I love the case. 
When I first saw that power slap belt, I was just in awe. It was all full of just amazing gems and these amazing shiny metals. I knew I have to take that, and I will. The belt, it looked really nice. I think it uh, looked great on my wall with my other ones. So let me just explain this to you guys. You're the coaches. What you say goes. You are literally, this, where the sport is right now, you are the absolute experts in this sport. So this is your show. Run it. Well done, sir. All right? Thank you, guys. Thanks Thank for being a part of this. Appreciate it. We're honored. On the next episode of Power Slap, Road to the Title. What a comeback. A new group of top prospects from across the country head to Las Vegas. All right, buddy, here we go. For an epic slap off. Win, and they secure a coveted spot in the house. Lose, and they're going home. Who is tough enough to handle the pressure and take the pain and move one step closer to the first ever Power Slap title.